This is an example of data that you'll receive as part of the vapor pressure versus temperature experiment. You will get something that looks like these first three columns where you've got time, pressure, and that's total pressure, air plus the methyl alcohol vapor pressure, and you have the temperature in Celsius. So like I said, you'll get these three columns. These calculations are shown here Column D is taking the temperature in column C and adding 273.15 to it to get Kelvin. Column E is taking the reciprocal of the Kelvin temperature, so it's taken 1 over column D. Now, column F, that total pressure has air and the vapor of methyl alcohol. So this is calculating how that pressure of the air increases. It's taken the initial pressure divided by the initial temperature times the new higher temperature. So that pressure is going to be increasing as this T2 increases. And the way this is done, this dollar $B, dollar $3, those dollar signs say always, always, always use this number in the calculation. So this is the initial uh, air pressure and dollar D, dollar three is the initial temperature. So everything is going to be compared to atmospheric pressure and atmospheric temperature when you started. This D3 is referring to this column, which is the temperature that's going to be increasing um, as the experiment progresses. So this is calculating how that pressure of air is increasing. Column G is calculating, it's taking the total pressure, that's air and methyl alcohol, and it's subtracting out the pressure of air. So it's getting the pressure of the methyl alcohol vapor. And then column H is calculating the natural logarithm of that pressure. And the two columns that are in blue, that'll be one graph. The two columns that are in green, that'll be a second graph. 